We're starting out in Chapultepec Park, but we are going to tour the Anthropology Museum located in the park. So Paulette and I were wandering around the Koyakon neighborhood. And decided to come to Chapultepec Park where the castle is, but the castle is closed today on Sunday on Christmas, but there's a lot of people that are here. Yeah. So we're just going to walk around and the museum's open. Ooh, maybe we'll take that little trolley that's passing over there. Anyway, we just got in here. Uh, I gotta say, Koyakon, the neighborhood is beautiful. I know, I didn't think that parts of Mexico were so pretty. Because we've only been in like the historical, like for two evenings once before. But man, it is beautiful. Lined with trees and just gorgeous. This is the biggest park in all of the North Americas. And you can see it is uh, Christmas Day, but people are out having fun. Walking their dogs or just going for a walk. Uh, just enjoying life here. And Paulette is back there bringing up the rear. I'm getting sprinkled on. So yeah, it is starting to sprinkle just a little, so we might be ducking for cover here. Uh, we're just going to walk around for a little bit and, and have see adventure. what's what. I don't know if you can see it, but there are some guys at the top of that pole that are getting ready to do uh, a dance. We recorded something like this in uh, Ahihik, where they'll spin around and eventually come down to the ground. If they're doing a rain dance, we don't need it for today. Mexico City Anthropology Museum was established in 1964 and is one of the largest and most important anthropology museums in the world. The museum has a vast collection of artifacts and exhibits related to the Mexican indigenous cultures, including the Aztecs, Maya, and Zapotec civilization. The museum is an important center for research and education in the Mexican anthropology and has helped to preserve cultural heritage of Mexico's indigenous peoples and in promoting cultural awareness. The National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City contains the world's largest collection of ancient Mexican art and it also has ethnographic exhibits about Mexico's present-day indigenous groups. A tip from the two travelers in Mexico about visiting the museum, uh, we did it the wrong way. We started on the left-hand side, but the museum website says that you should start on the right-hand side but it's not very clearly marked at the museum. But if you do start on the right-hand side, uh, the exhibits will make more sense in their chronological order. The museum has 23 permanent exhibit halls. Archaeology exhibits are located on the ground floor and the ethnographic exhibits are located uh, on the upper level. To the left of the main entrance, the halls are devoted to other cultural areas of Mexico. The Oaxaca and Mayan rooms are, are also very impressive. Several of the rooms have recreations of archaeological scenes, murals in the Teotihuacan exhibit, and tombs in the Oaxaca and Mayan rooms. This gives you a chance to see the pieces in context in which they were found. This is the Aztec sunstone and it is absolutely huge. I am happy to have found someone with a bigger head than what I have. The museum is huge. There's a, a lot to take in here. Paulette and I spent two and a half or three hours here, but for someone who is really into anthropology, you could easily spend a full day here. The Anthropology Museum is open Tuesdays through Saturday 10 to 5 and the price is normally 90 pesos about four dollars fifty cents for adults but with your Inipam card it was free for Mark and I. Here we have an exhibit of the world's most painful condom.
Museum, I came to the conclusion that I thought the outside with all these structures were the best for me that I liked. That was the top for me. Yeah, I would agree. It was very tropical, jungle-like, um, very interesting to look at. Yeah, but the, the detail on those buildings were incredible. It was amazing. You have to see it. Thank you for watching our video from the Two Travelers in Mexico.